Hey guys, today we're in a fantastic place, the headquarters of Xiaomi. In today's review, we're going to take a look at the Xiaomi Mi Mix Alpha. This isn't just another video about the idea of this concept phone, but the actual prototype. It's the first world's smartphone with a display on both the front and the back. It auto switches when flipped. There's a 108 megapixel camera. This is our quick step-by-step -step review. Let's get started. So last September, Xiaomi announced the release of this concept phone. Even before that, there was a lot of talk about the phone, but nobody was expecting to see the prototype this early. The flip sensor works just fine, as well as the back display and the camera. The screens on the side aren't fake, they actually work. Have you ever seen an Android optimized for a 180 degree display? This is 100% on the front and 80% on the back. The frame of the phone is titanium alloy. Even some of the software solutions are pretty strange. A special flip detector activates the icons on the back when you turn the phone over. There isn't enough room for all the icons because of the camera strip right here. So what did they come up with? They decided to overlap the icons just a little bit. You see how much they've worked on the software optimization? But let's take a look at the body of the phone. First things first, the phone has got a titanium alloy frame. The camera strip on the back is ceramic. They've come up with this solution during the development process. The power button is at the top, and this is the bottom edge. Let me just try and put it like this, all right? Right here. And I think it's a little too bumpy here. You can't do it. But you must have seen the way it was in the official Xiaomi store. The USB Type-C, the speaker, and the SIM card slot can be found at the bottom. Here you can see the virtual side buttons, and they work just fine. I was pretty sure they were fake or something, but trust me, everything works. The battery life, Wi-Fi, SIM card, and all other in-display software icons work perfectly fine. Another question. Is the battery big enough? Honestly guys, after testing and using it a lot, like a lot in the last 40 minutes, it still shows 38% battery remaining, which means we only used about 4%. And now the specs. Most of you are already familiar with the processor and the display specs of the phone, but anyway, this is a 7.92 inch AMOLED display. And the most surprising and atypical solution, it's a 2250 by 2280 pixel display. You must have noticed that there is no selfie camera or no standard earpiece. It's been replaced by a display acoustics technology that basically creates vibrations through the glass. It's a pretty standard feature nowadays. And you're probably asking about the selfie camera. That's not an issue. You just flip the phone over. It uses Tetracell technology. The cameras are just nuts. We'll go back to them later. You simply press this and voila! The selfie camera works perfectly. Naturally, you can use the main set of cameras and all the modes to take selfies. The phone has a 108 megapixel main camera. We all know quite well that megapixels aren't everything. Actually, it's the sensor size that matters. According to Xiaomi, this very image sensor is capable of producing photos with a crazy resolution of 12,032 by 9,024 pixels. So, printing a smartphone picture in big sizes shouldn't be a problem. It also it also has a 20 megapixel 118 degree ultra wide angle camera which supports 1.5 centimeter macro photography compare that to a usual 2.5 or 3 centimeter it's a super cool macro so there's also a 12 megapixel camera that supports 2x optical zoom it's extremely functional and this whole flip over action gives you cooler selfies as they're coming straight from the high-end main camera just flip it over hold the phone like this and you get some great micro selfies let's check out the internals real quick the smartphone is powered by snapdragon 855 plus chip with 12 gigs of ram which is exactly the kind of hardware you need for a monster like this the battery is 4050 milliamp hours which naturally is fast charging you see those people looking? Yeah, keep going. <laughs> so it's got a 30 watt wireless charge, 5G enabled, Bluetooth 5.0, and it's dual SIM card. I mean, honestly, it's pretty neat. Once again, USB Type-C, 108 megapixel camera, 180% screen to body ratio, titanium alloy frame, ceramic strip. It's got practically anything you could wish for. The device is priced at 19,999 yuan, which is about 2,800 bucks. But just think about all the ceramic material, those dual SIM card slots, 5G. This thing is nuts. We could keep talking about Xiaomi for hours, but you can see for yourself, they aren't just blabbling around 
but they really make cool devices. And if the $2,800 price tag is too pricey for you, come on down to the Xiaomi store. The Redmi Note 8 Pro is about $170. A big thank you to the guys from Xiaomi. This was the Xiaomi Mi Mix Alpha. We are happy to share our impressions of this incredible device with you. Please leave your comments below. See you. Bye.